Use the given information to find the exact value of sine 2 theta, cosine 2 theta, tangent 2 theta. <clears throat> These are all double angle formulas that we're going to use. Here's the given information here. The given information is that the sine of the angle is 11 over 12 and that that angle is in quadrant 2. So we're going to first go ahead and make a right triangle in quadrant 2. Here's the angle. It's a right triangle. So here, sine is the opposite opposite over the hypotenuse and the opposite of this angle would be 11. The hypotenuse is 12. And you're going to need to find this uh, third side here, this adjacent side, because we're going to need that. And we can find that third side by taking the square root of the hypotenuse squared and subtracting the opposite side squared. Okay, So that becomes the square root of 144 minus 121. That is the square root of 23. And the square root of 23 goes right here. Okay. Now also, you are in the second quadrant. So from the origin, you're going to the left. So this is actually uh, going to be negative because you're going um, to the left of the origin. That's a negative direction there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and find the sine of two times that angle. It's a double angle formula for sine. It is 2 sine theta times cosine theta. So 2 times sine theta. Well, that was given. It was 11 over 12. times the cosine of that angle. So cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That would be negative square root of 23 divided by the hypotenuse. And then we just need to multiply this out and simplify it. Um, that's 2 over 1, so I'm going to go ahead and simplify that right here. 1 and 6. So that's going to leave me with 11 times negative square root of 23. That's negative 11 times the square root of 23. All over 6 times 12. That's 72. And that's the simplified answer. Okay, so we're done with part A. And part B was to find the cosine of 2 times the angle. Um, there are three different identities that you can use for cosine uh, double angle. Uh, the one I'm going to use is 1 minus 2 sine squared of the angle. So that's 1 minus 2 sine was 11 over 12 have to square that. And now all you have to do is just simplify this answer. Okay, so this is 1 minus 2 times 121 over 144. 1 minus, this 2 will simplify with this 144. That will give us 1 minus 121 over 72, which is the same thing as 72 minus 121 over 72. 72 minus 121, that's a negative 49. Write that all over 72. And that would be your answer.
Okay, we're ready to do part C of this problem, which is just to find um, the tangent of two times the angle. Um, there is a formula for a double angle formula for tangent. However, since uh, we found uh, sine 2 theta and cosine 2 theta in parts A and B, I'm just going to use that to our advantage to solve this part of the problem. And the reason I can use those two is because tangent 2 theta is the same thing as the sine of 2 theta divided by the cosine of 2 theta. So all I need to do is just replace sine 2 theta and cosine 2 theta and simplify. Okay. So the sine of 2 theta, that was 11, negative 11 times the square root of 23 divided by 72 and we're dividing that by the cosine of 2 theta that was a negative 49 over 72 now I can rewrite this complex fraction as um, as multiplication what I need to do is just take the numerator which is negative 11 square root of 23 over 72 multiply by the reciprocal of this divisor here and that would be 72 over a negative 49 and when I simplify this you can see that the 72's are going to divide out so I'm left with negative 11 square root of 23 over a negative 49 and that sim simplifies to a positive number which is 11 times the square root of 23 over 49.